Hello and welcome to this tutorial on no-code programming for biology. In this tutorial we'll show you how to connect external components to the board either directly or via an expansion shield. From your Biomaker starter kits you will need your Arduino board, your hookup wires that come as part of a DuPont line and your Eagle Eye LED. It's best to connect these components to the board when it's not powered on so first we need to disconnect the board from your computer if it's still plugged in. The DuPont line provided in the Biomaker starter kit is made up of individual hookup wires. We can either use these individually or take off as many as we need. To attach the Eagle Eye LED we will need three wires so let's separate three wires from the pack. The wires provided are all female to female wires which means that they have these special connectors at the end that we can plug directly into the pins on our components. So go ahead and plug each wire into one of the pins on the LED module. If we take a closer look, we can see that each of these pins has a name printed next to it, SIG, VCC and GND. And it's important because we need to make sure that we correct the right pin on the LED module to the right pin on the Arduino board. So if we take a look at the first pin, this is called SIG, which stands for signal. And I need to remember that I've connected that to the white wire. On our Arduino board, the pins that we want to connect to are these little set of six male pins over here on the right of the board. Again, they are each labelled with a name and the one that we want to connect the SIG white wire to is called SCK. Now if we take a look back at our LED and look at the second pin, VCC, that's the power pin, and we can see that it's connected to the grey wire. So back on our Arduino board, we'll connect the grey wire to the VCC pin right here. The final pin on our LED is the GND, the ground pin, and we can see that that is connected to the purple wire, so we'll connect the purple wire to the GND pin on our Arduino. So now we've wired up our LED and all we need to do is connect our board back to the computer. In our last tutorial, we showed you how to test the board in Zod by turning on the onboard LED. We have actually connected the external LED to the same pin, D13, uh, so we can use exactly the same patch that we did last time to test our external LED as well. And I'll put a link to the last tutorial up here on the top right if you haven't watched it already. The same as last time, we're going to upload this patch by coming down to this little lightning upload button here and when the uh, pop-up box opens we'll make sure that we have selected the correct board model and the correct port and click upload. And if we take a look at what's happening on our board we can see that the external LED turns itself on. Again, the same as in the last tutorial, we can turn the LED off by uploading an empty patch. So we can connect our external LED module directly to our board using the male pins over here. Uh, but what if we want to connect a piece of external hardware that uses a different set of pins or if we want to connect more than one piece of external hardware to our board? And that is where an expansion shield comes in. This is the OpenSmart expansion shield which is provided in the Biomaker starter kit and we can see that it has a whole load of different male pins which we can use to access the full functionality of the Arduino board. As you can see the pins are collected into different sets and we can use these different sets of pins to connect different types of hardware to the board. And the pin set that we'll be using to connect our LED is the digital pin set here. To connect this expansion shield to the board we want to use these male pins on the back and plug them into the yellow, red and blue header pins on the Arduino board. 
Next, we need to take our hookup wires and connect them to our LED as we did before. Then we need to make sure, same as last time, that we connect the correct pins on the LED to the correct pins on the expansion shield. So this time we'll be connecting the SIG pin to the D13 pin of the expansion shield. If we take a closer look at this digital pin set, we can see the D13 pin here, and below that are the VCC and GND pins. So let's go ahead and connect the wires. Finally, just to check that we set it up correctly, we'll upload this patch again and take a look at what happens on our board. So that's it for this tutorial on how to connect external components to your Arduino board. We've shown you how to connect an external LED to your board, either directly or via an expansion shield. And in later tutorials, we'll be covering how to use the other pin sets of the expansion shield to connect different hardware components. The next no code programming for biology tutorial will delve a little bit further into how to use the Zod software and what kinds of different programs we can create. If you have any questions or if your board's not working and you need help troubleshooting, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks for watching.